Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Comic Fun Time. This is the second issue of John Burns, The Man of Steel. And now I have to stop recording so I can point the camera at the book. Okay, so here I am. I'm on the street in lovely downtown Viroqua. Cars going by. And we're going to look at this second issue. So at this point, it's Thursday, the 5th of July, and I do not know if I will get through all of these books by the time my vacation is over. So this one is introducing Lois Lane. You can see the cover there. The cover tells you a lot of what you need to know. Hmm, I didn't notice that before. It looks like a cassette record, uh, recording, like, I guess, I don't know. And wait for that truck to pass. I don't know if it's picking up. So here we have like this really cool opening, which I think I showed you in my last video. And so Superman goes flying by, big grin on his face. Don't know what he was doing that day, but he's just like happily flying by. And so Lois gets on the story. We sort of meet Lex Luthor, like as Lois is running after Superman. Um, Lex is chauffeur shows up and like I guess he's really into her and uh, he's going out of town for a year so she says you'll have to catch me much later um, by the way this book was really good I'm gonna nitpick on a thing coming up but um, otherwise uh, it's really solid really enjoyable story it's of course this happens after crisis the first crisis on infinite earths and um, so this is like the reboot of Superman after that and so we're being reintroduced to the characters in this mini-series. So like right here, you have this young woman, kind of punk rocker, kind of of the 80s, and she gets her purse snatched, and Superman shows up. I thought this is really cool. He starts running, and then his boots come down, and then there's the S. The guy tries to run away. This reminds me of the George Reeves series where Superman showed up. Like, you know, he could just, uh, super speed got him to the ed 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 end of the room, real quick so he gets the the purse snatcher and there's that lady is she just has her purse snatched right she goes hey and then goes oh man and then she just puts on her boom box and continues down the street so that's my nitpick <laughs> it seems silly so she comes up and then she doesn't really have a whole lot to say uh, you know, she's just shocked that Superman's got the purse and then like he says, you know, you should turn down your radio because in a city this size, consideration for others is the only thing that keeps life bearable. And then like, you know, he gives her a little salute and flows off. You know, this reminds me a lot of the Richard Donner movie, which, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one correlation, but I wonder if this is like somebody who is a comic creator at the time, you know, he gave him that face. Um, he looks familiar to me. I, I, I don't know. So anyways, this guy's named Reagan. There's a liquor store going on, a liquor store heist going on. And um, Superman shows up. And, you know, this guy, he does like a lot of bravado. And he says, you know, uh, I'll give you one minute to come out and you can start releasing hostages now. And then he goes, oh, I thought like my... I was kind of hoping my reputation would scare them out of there. And so, yeah, then Superman shows up. And he asks them to pull back so nobody gets hit by a stray bullet. Walks in, crushes the gun. Then we have, like, a woman in there, kind of a Patty Hearst-type character. And she's like, you know, these guys are kind of, like, bemused, bedazzled. And she goes, like, don't waste time worrying about tricks, you idiots. Waste the mother. And then, like... Sorry, my battery just went low. So like Superman gets, uh, you know, this was a really cool scene. The bullets bouncing off and then their eyes turning red. And then like he comes and he goes, the softest tap and they'll be out for hours. And, um, and then she goes, you wouldn't hit a lady, would you? And then he goes, a lady, never a lady. And then he hits her, he goes, but then I never met a lady who carries dynamite under her coat. So, you know, I guess that could be a nitpick too, is like they're robbing a liquor store and they have dynamite. Yeah, that's a little overkill. Um, and then Lois Lane keeps trying to catch up with Superman, but he he's always like one step ahead of her. And then she gets an idea, and I thought she was gonna jump, you know, uh, she, 
I, I thought she was going to jump. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, back here she's in um, a helicopter. And she, he says, like, you know, uh, I'll jump off here. But she just jumps to the roof. I thought she was going to jump out and expect Superman to save her. But she's still, like, searching for Superman. And, um, and then she drives her car off a pier. So Superman sees her. And they have a, you know, that's a, that's a cool scene. That's another one from the cover. So this book, you know, the cover was really good. I thought I, I enjoyed the cover art. And yeah, it's a little windy now. So yeah, he pulls her out and then like, you know, she's, she starts going away and she goes, come back here. You know, she kind of screams at him and he goes, yes. So it's kind of a funny thing, you know, you can see, oh look, Lois Lane has a cat. Didn't realize that, a little orange kitty cat. Um, and like, you know, she offers him wine and brie and he says he doesn't really drink and he's never developed a taste for brie. And then like, you know, uh, you're too modest. You happen to be the story of the century, Mr. Or what do you, what do I call you by the way? And he goes, the name you gave me is quite appropriate, Miss Lane. Superman it is then. And uh, then like he kind of like tells her basically nothing that he doesn't really know where he's from. He doesn't know he's really from Krypton yet, I guess. Even though like, you know, Pa Kent showed him that spaceship in the last one. Either that or, he, you know, I, I don't remember if he knows where he's from or not. But then, like, he goes, uh, flies off, and he becomes Clark Kent. And uh, it turns out he scoops Lois Lane with the explosive story on Superman, and, like, that's how he gets the job at the Daily Planet. So that's pretty much the end of issue two. Um, overall, it was a very enjoyable issue. I enjoyed a lot. Look, uh, 1986, there's Hawkman 1. I enjoyed the latest Hawkman number one, and they were doing it back then. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this book. It was a lot of fun. Um, I liked it better than the first one, which was of course a rehash of uh, Superman's childhood. But um, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here for now, and I will be back soon as soon as I read issue three. Uh, this is Super Comic Fun Time. Oh yeah, remember, like the video, share with your friends. Super Comic Fun Time, out.